Welcome back everyone, my name is Echo and I hope you're having a great day. Today's Minecraft video, we're back on Minecraft Earth because this game actually received an update last week and I don't think anybody's made any videos on it because last week they introduced crafting and smelting. I just want to showcase how it works and what's being updated with this game. Now, before anybody leaves the question asking when is this game actually releasing, well, it's actually releasing at some point this month which is October, because posted on the official Minecraft website is this, saying starting in October, Minecraft Earth will be coming to countries across the globe, and we plan to have it all over the Earth by the end of this year. Keep the Minecraft Earth page bookmarked for more updates. So be patient, we're midway through October, so the release for this is very, very soon. And since we received a brand new update for this game last week, my guess is, guys, they're testing different parts of this game at a time. So they're just releasing parts and parts as time goes by. Now, before I show you guys how it does work, make sure that your device is capable of using it. Um, I think the way you can test this is if you're on Android, go to the Google Play Store and type in Minecraft Earth. It will tell you if your device is compatible. I'm playing on an iPhone 7. I think it works on an iPhone 6 Plus and above from my understanding. But if you're on a lower iOS device, again, go to the store and check. Now, one last thing I wanna share with you is a brand new mob that's going to be introduced to the game. So the official Minecraft Earth Twitter posted this, saying mob teaser time, round two. This one should be easy, or is it? Here's a hint, it could be small or just very far away. So they're gonna be introducing a giant rabbit and the other mob that they talked about is a ram. So if you guys don't know, we've already got a bunch of custom mobs available on Minecraft Earth. And my character's making a little bit of a walk here. Sometimes the game thinks you're in a different location than where you're actually at. So I like to just collect as much as possible. I'm only level six. Now, I'm a little bit sad because it's getting really cold now and it's constantly raining. Soon it's probably gonna be snowing. So they plan to release Minecraft Earth around summertime so people could enjoy it during summer, go outside, adventure, explore, and grab things. That didn't quite happen. Now, if we go to the far right-hand side, we have store. So you earn rubies. Now, I think these are going to be purchasable at some point. I think this is how they're gonna make their money. There might be other couple of things that you can purchase, but um, you don't have to purchase anything in this game. Like, if you want to be a free-to-play player, you can do that. The more you play, the more rubies you're going to get. Now, rubies are the currency in this game. So, I could buy the grassy one. I could buy the where the chickens go. And I can't buy the next one. So, I wanted to buy this one. And I found something really interesting here. So, when we tap on this bottom one, which is the roadside inn, it's a 16 by 16 plate. So, the ones down here are 8 by 8. So, the 16 by 16 is a lot bigger. Pretty newly introduced, actually. I think it was only a couple of updates ago they made the 16 by 16 possible. Now, if I tap on this, it says, not enough rubies. You need 275 more rubies. Get them here or see more options in the store. Now, there's like a loading animation. It's a loading shovel. It's a loading pickaxe. And I think it's a loading axe as well. Um, nothing pops up. I've left it for like five or 10 minutes. I think that's going to be a work in progress. I think that is where you're going to have to purchase your things. Like when I was tapping on it, nothing was popping up or working at all. Um, but I think that's where you're going to be able to purchase things. And then you've got to see more. Now, something that we might be seeing very, very soon is inside of here, we have something called challenges. And this is under construction. Challenges are coming soon. Stay tuned. So I think the challenges are basically like achievements. So it will be like go out and collect a certain amount of cobblestone, go out and collect a certain type of mob, and I guess you're gonna get rewards, which the rewards are going to be the gems. And that's the very, very basics about this in case you guys don't know what's going on. It's an augmented reality. This is currently my location and I'm hoping we could tap on the sheep. My character keeps moving. The chests are the best. I think the last time I showed you this game, I was showing you the new types of trees, like the, the birch and the spruce. I haven't seen acacia yet though. Not quite sure where that would be. And there's still a lot more changes to be introduced to this game. Right, so now I've been through the basics. Let's tap on the most recent change. So the most recent change is this, which is make stuff. We have crafting and smelting now has an, as an option. Now, if we tap on crafting, this is what pops up. They made the interface a lot easier to understand. So at the moment, I've clicked on all recipes. The next one is construction-based items. The next one is nature. The next one is uh, equipment. And then the next one we have right here is going to be 
your your recipes. So for example, it's the things that I'm able to craft right now is like sticks. Um, it takes 30 seconds per one stick. <laughs> so if you want to do quite a few, which I'll do a couple here now and I'll show you guys how this works. Um, it can go up to like 10 minutes, 20. Ah, okay, so it looks like it's gonna take 10 minutes to do these. So we'll begin to do that and leave it to do its own business. It does have a countdown. Um, it takes a little bit of time. Now, that's those crafting right now. You can only do one item at a time. The one next to it, if I tap on it, it says table locked. This crafting table is locked for now. Stay tuned for a feature update. Not entirely sure what's going to be needed in order to obtain like two or three different crafting tables because nobody wants to wait 10 minutes while crafting an item. And usually if you're crafting, you're wanting to craft a couple of things. Now I think, I think I'm like in a weird, yeah, hello. Hey, I'm not gonna miss, miss on the tappables, okay? Any tappable I'm able to click, I will tap them. Mainly animals, because they made the animals in this game a lot rarer now. They're not as common as, as they used to be. All right, let's go back inside of here. So that's crafting. It's gonna do its business. Now, once the items are done, by the way, guys, it will pop up on your main screen and it will let you actually collect them, which again, I will show you throughout today's video. So let's go to the smelting, although the flames on the smelting for me are slightly bugged. You can see it there. Just a visual bug, not really a big deal. Uh, there's really not that many items that I'm able to, to craft at this moment, to be honest with you. It, for me, it's simply glass or it's simply going to be stone. It's, it's one or the other. Now, obviously, glass for windows and you've got the likes of your stone for, for building purposes. Might be able to craft myself like stone brick. I tend to build out a stone brick, but you've got a couple of things inside of here. You've got uh, gold, which I currently don't own. Oh, we can, wait. Ah, ah, okay, so we've got a fuel source here. See, there's different ways to use your fuel. So I can use logs, I can use fences. Oh dude, there's a bunch of different, I didn't, I didn't realize I had this. Well, I would probably smell birch. I'm not really a big fan of the birch ones, but by the looks of things, it's not gonna let me because you don't have all these wood. I don't have them accessible at this moment, so that kind of sucks. Um, right, so what do I have currently in my furnace then? Furnace empty. Right, let's cl click on this. Ah, okay, so it's gonna help me do cobblestone into stone. That's a bit interesting then, because I was looking at the crafting and it didn't and doesn't give me the option to make this, which is the pickaxes. I can collect all 16. There we go. Ah, wait, 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 wait. Does it now give me the option to craft these? So now I can actually craft the, 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 the picks and stuff. No, but it's not going to let me. Maybe if I, can I take these out? Stop crafting. Do you want to stop? Yeah, I want to stop crafting these. There we go. So am I able to make this? There we go. Now I'm able to make a pick, but the pick is going to take a little bit of time. I'm a little bit curious as to what the pick is going to be used for though, because this game's like tap and click. It's basically like creative. I haven't really experienced any kind of survival aspect. I mean, the swords are going to be useful because the swords are going to be used for attacking things. I know you can attack and, and, and attack skeletons and zombies and stuff like that. So I think that's kind of interesting. I'm still learning this a lot as well. I've not had uh, much time to fully experiment with this. And these are all the things I can craft so far. Uh, can we craft string? Oh, we can craft string. It might actually let me craft a fishing rod, but the question is, can you actually fish in this game? But again, since we're only in the beta, I guess things like that will be introduced at a later date. Let's begin to do a little bit of smelting though, because I know I am gonna wanna use some glass. Uh, how much is it gonna take me to do this, right? I, don't, I haven't got enough to do that. So how many of these can I actually do? Well, I think it's eight. I can do nine. So I can start to do nine of these. That's gonna take seven minutes to do that. I actually, that's a good question though. If we back out and go to my inventory, do I actually have any gold ore? I actually don't think I have any ores. I've got a spider now, by the way, which I haven't yet seen the spider in action. So I might actually um, place that down on the build plate today. So what else do we have in here? I don't have any ores. If we type in a search and we type in ore, I've not got any ores. There's no ores there. So I haven't yet clicked on any gold or diamonds. I told you guys in the last video, the way the diamonds and stuff work, there's like raid loot raids. They will pop up in certain locations upon full release and you go there and that's where you can get your diamonds and that's where you can get your gold and things like that. Right guys, I'm gonna let these smelt and I'll be back when they're done. 
Now, while we wait for this game to load up, guys, I want to mention that the terrain around you changes every 10 minutes. So if you open it now and collect a bunch of tappables around you, close the app and come back in 10 minutes time, the terrain around you will be changed. There could be new items and new blocks to collect. So as you guys can see, we have now 10 items that have been done. It takes you straight to the make stuff, the crafting section and the smelting. As you know, we were smelting glass and I was crafting a brand new pick. You collect it. The same with this, you collect it. Now I'm not entirely sure if smelting and crafting counts towards your XP. So as you can see on my character, I'm currently level six. Probably should have checked that beforehand, but usually you'll see like XP going towards your character. That did not quite happen. And unfortunately for me, the terrain around me hasn't changed because well, it wasn't exactly uh, 10 minutes time. So that's, how basic and as simple as the crafting is going to be. Now, there's definitely going to be more inside of here. Maybe enchanting. I'm trying to think as to what else could be inside of here, though. Crafting, smelting. Is there going to be a blast furnace? Is there going to be a stone cutter and stuff like that? I'm guessing that this is like the interface for making stuff. So if we go back inside of here, let's see what else we can make. In fact, let's actually check the times. So the note block will take you eight, uh, four minutes for one. The redstone, redstone repeat is going to take you 11 minutes to do. If you're working on a big redstone like build, that's going to be really annoying. One thing I did notice though, so if we tap on this, right, and I tap on this, I can actually speed it up. And there's also a boost option at the mo at the bottom as well. And it's, and, and, and it's done now, I can collect it as well. Did it actually give me any XP? That's a good point. Let's double check now that we did that. No, it didn't give me any XP. So it looks like there's going to be a boost option. So maybe some kind of VIP option within this game. I don't mind spending a couple of my rubies doing this. I'm collecting them to make videos for you guys. Uh, we'll go back into the crafting section though. So that is for the repeater was um, a very long time. Glass. Well, six is going to take you 12 minutes. Redstone torch, one minute. Andesite, four minutes. What about a lever? Two minutes. What about an axe? That's going to take five minutes. Uh, what about beds? Four minutes, 15. What about, what's this one? Just a wooden pick. Eh, it's, you can, oh wait, wait, wait. If we tap on this, we got the option to change. Ah, okay, so you can change the wood variations. That's actually pretty cool. I do like that. So the crafting is pretty easy to pick up. It kind of reminds me of the old Pocket Edition crafting. And to make these, to make spruce planks from obviously the logs, that's going to take you 30 seconds per, was that 30 seconds per four or 30 seconds per one, per four? So I may have been saying one and not seeing that. If there's a couple of things inside of here we can do though. Uh, walls is 10 minutes for six. The, wait, you can make dirt on this. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. With the andesite and stuff. That's going to be four. Uh, I think a sword will probably take quite a while. Three minutes. That's not, it's not too bad. Some of the timings aren't too bad. I guess it's going to be annoying though. I don't know how you're going to unlock the second ones. And I think having like three crafting tables and having three furnaces will definitely be uh, a lot easier. What about the smelting options then? Because I've only, yeah, glass is going to take a little bit of time. Um, let's go back to the fuel sources as well. Well, I've got a lot of wood inside of here though, but I'm just really curious on, on what else. What about the iron? So it looks like one iron is going to take you 11 minutes. Because I'm going to fight, if that's the case, guys, right? I know it's beta, but if that's the case, there's going to be a lot of opening and closing of the game, which is going to be quite annoying, to be honest with you. I don't want to have to play for 10 minutes, close the game for 10 minutes, open the game for 10 minutes. I don't think that would be enjoyable, but I'm really curious as to what the boost option is going to be. We're still really limited on what we can have in this game at this moment. It's, there's not a lot um, still going on. And like I said, gradually they are introducing more features. It's the mobs, guys. If you have the beta, go and grab as many mobs as you can. I don't know why my character's walking around on its own. Oh, and a chicken. Are you going to be the cook's room or are you just going to be an ordinary chicken? It's an ordinary chicken. But I just wanted to make this video to teach you guys how the crafting does work. Um, I think when you guys get a hold of this game yourself, you'll learn a lot easier. And the trees just keep popping up. Like I said, every single ten, every 10 minutes, it changes. So collecting items isn't going to be a problem. The waiting time might be. I've been Echo. Have a great day. Stay beautiful. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.